Hey, Facebook friends, it's Friday afternoon. Um, thanks for checking in. Uh, you know, here's what I want to tell you to wrap up this week is that, uh, you know, in, in the refreshing power of God's Word, God's Word gives you something worth sharing. Uh, that's uh, one of the, the, the things that comes out of this story in Acts chapter 8 that we've read uh, about Philip the evangelist, uh, Philip the deacon who goes alongside uh, that Ethiopian uh, seeker after God. He'd already been to Jerusalem to worship. Uh, and he was taking home with him a copy of Isaiah the prophet uh, and reading that book, looking up, and, and Philip comes alongside him and, uh, and, and the Ethiopian has questions uh, and Philip is there. Why, why is Philip there and ready? Because he already knows the good news. He already knows the good news of Jesus. He already knows the good news of the story of God's word. It's made a difference in his life. And so he's ready to share that uh, when the invitation is given him. Uh, notice that, that, uh, you know, Philip doesn't just, uh, you know, run around uh, telling the story to people that don't want to listen. He, he waits, he keeps his ear open, he keeps his heart open. Uh, and when he finds somebody that's ready, when he finds somebody that's ready, he engages in conversation uh, and he offers himself and he offers uh, that full picture of the beautiful story of God's work in salvation that's shown to us in the scripture and a story then that becomes reality in our lives when we trust in Jesus. So, uh, you know, when we when we grow into God's Word, God's Word gives us something in return. It gives us a story uh, that is worth sharing. That's a, kind of a great pivot from this week. Uh, this past Sunday at Isle of Hope, we looked at the church that delights in God's Word. Uh, and this coming Sunday, day after tomorrow, uh, we'll look at a church that has a story uh, worth telling, a story worth telling. And we do, as followers of Jesus, we have a story that is worth telling telling. Uh, and so come on Sunday uh, in person if you can, uh, or check in online with us, uh, worship at 9 a.m. anchor service or a modern service or 11, uh, 10 15, uh, our traditional service uh, in the sanctuary, uh, both of them on Facebook live uh, and also streaming on YouTube. So uh, ways to worship this weekend as we think about this great story that God has given us and what he's working out in us uh, to share with the world. Let's pause right there and pray. Um, Father, thank you that uh, on that day that Philip began with the prophet Isaiah and he began to tell all the good news about Jesus. May the story of that good news uh, about Jesus continue to penetrate our hearts and our lives and may we be so full of that story that we're ready to share it uh, when we have the opportunity with others. Uh, we pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey friends, thanks for checking in on Friday afternoon. See you again soon.